Aren't you on the news or something? Yes. You're Cheryl Moore, right? Yeah, uh, do you have a light? Do you know what, Um, man, listen, um, can I have your autograph? Could I am, like, your biggest fan. <laughs> oh, this stinks a lot, Cher. Hey, oh, by the way, we're opening for Brian Metro with the Greek tonight. You want to go? You know, I really don't think I can. <laughs> Got it. Thanks a lot, Cheryl. <gasps> Have some tea. Where am I? Home. You're home? Uh-huh. Why did you bring me here? I didn't mean to hurt you, I'm sorry. Can you at least look at me like you really mean it? I'm sorry. <laughs> You're beautiful. Rich. <laughs> And you fuck for money. Not for money. For what? To feel the pain? Fill the void? Solace? I can sell you a lot of pain. I've got good stuff. Do you know what solace means? How come you do? I asked you first. Comfort. And what is comfort? Relief from distress that makes for pleasantness or ease. What is your name? They call me Dumb Jack. Are you dumb? So they say. I don't think so. How many words do you know? More than you. <laughs> Try me. And we? Boredom. Tedium, irksomeness, monotony, a state of weariness. Sadness. Depression, dejection, dinge, dysphoria, gloom, melancholy. Affection. Hey. We should do this again sometime. You think? Yeah. Like, a lot. Yeah. Because that always works out great. Oh, come on. Ira, why would I torture myself? Come here. I have to go. You can be 45 seconds late for work. you're gonna get hurt, right? Bro, we passed all that. We're great together. We should just... It's a bad idea. Look, I'm kind of seeing someone, which I, th I think makes this safe, because we can't get too into it, which was the problem last time. But we're, we're not exclusive, so you and I can still, you know, whatever. <laughs> and... <sighs> Always making me the bad guy. <sighs> you sure you don't have any, like, day work or anything before you got any 40s? No, no, I'll start with, like, anything, like, one day a week. Yeah. Well, just like, just keep me in mind, okay? All right, thank you.
wearing a suit. You were right. Of course I was right. No, About what? Wait, just listen. Um, people are here. I need to get upstairs. I had, I had sex with Paul's boss today. Of course you it did. was amazing because I realized I am a fucking idiot. What? I don't want to be, but, but I am. And I thought that you knew that all my, my, my bullshit issues were, were me being in love with you, and just that I was too chicken shit to take the risk. But I am telling you now. I have to get upstairs right now. Look, you know me. You know me, and I know, I know you. I know that you're not mad at me right now because of what I'm saying. You're mad because I'm saying it before your party. You are so full of shit. I waited for you. For years. I didn't even date anyone else. Just freaks. All oh, that wasted time wondering, wondering why you didn't feel the same way and why you wanted anybody else but me. And then, Finally, I decided that if I couldn't have all of you, some was enough, and that best friends would do. But now that I have found someone, now that I am engaged, you take off the sweatshirt and hold forth, you are such a selfish dick. What, what, what was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to wait until the guy says, speak now or forever hold your peace as you're walking down the aisle? I thought I was showing tremendous foresight. No, you're too late. Look, I can make you happier no, than he can. No. No, you can't, and, and I am throwing a party tonight for my fiancé, who Please I am going to marry. Please do not settle for this guy! At any minute, and I have to get upstairs immediately. Are you coming or not? Yes. No, actually, you're not.